Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a full screen slider with Divi. So this is the final design that we're aiming for. So you may want to use this for your landing pages or on some of your page designs. So in this video, I'll be showing you step by step how we managed to achieve this. So without wasting a lot of time, let's get started. In order for us to create this full width slider with Divi, we're going to need an image and also some CSS code. Now the dimensions of the image I used in this example are 1920 by 860, but you can use um, the sizes that you require. The image I also used was from Unsplash, so make sure that you use images which you can use without any infringement of licenses. Okay, and then finally, the CSS code that we're going to use throughout this is going to be included in the link in the show notes below. All right, so I'm right here in my WordPress dashboard. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create a new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, create add new, and then we're just going to call this slider. Now, once we've uh, named the uh, page, what we're going to do is to use the Divi Builder. And for this, I'm going to use the Visual Builder. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Use Visual Builder. So by default, we have a section added here, but we need to add our own. So I'm going to come over here and add a new full width section. So I'm going to click this plus button and click on full width. Now here we're going to need a full width slider. So I'm just going to scroll down until I find this full width slider. Click on that. And now we are going to add a CSS class. So this can also be found in the show notes below on our post. So I'm going to paste my class in there, come back over here to the general, and then we're going to add a new item. So this is the first slider that we're going to add. So now you can go ahead and add your, your heading. So I'm just going to call this header goes here, but uh, you can add any, any text that you need in there. And then the button, I'm just going to call it download now that maybe make it a capital letter n button url i'll just leave it as a blank url that's fine and then for the background image this is where now i'm going to upload my slider image so i'm going to click on upload now my image is in my downloads folder so i'm just going to navigate to that and then it's the first one here okay now that it's uploaded i'm going to go ahead now and click on upload an image Okay, so now that we have it there, the last thing we're going to do here on the slides is on the slider is to add some text. So I'm going to paste in some dummy text. So I'm going to paste it here. So that's our dummy text. So what you could also do is you can go in and do a few more customizations here in the design settings. Like for example here, uh, the line height, I can change the line height to something much uh, better, which is about maybe 1.9. And you can also change the text colors and so on and so forth. But for now, I'm just going to leave it as it is. So now that we have that in place, what we're going to do now is to just uh, save that. So that's our first slider. So depending on how many sliders you need to create, you can always just duplicate here and then change the content. But I would advise to stick to three sliders here. Okay, so change your your content in your um, in uh, each of these sliders by clicking this gear icon. So that allows you to go in and then you can customize the text in whatever slider you're in. Okay, so now that you have that all set, the next thing we're going to do now is to just go ahead and save. And then we're going to delete this section because we don't need this. So now we're left with this main uh, section that we've just created, which is going to house our full width slider. Okay, so let me go ahead now and save because the next stage now is to add the CSS code. So I'm going to click here and click on um, publish. And then I'm going to exit the the visual builder okay so we can see here that it's not full width so i'm just going to go into my dashboard but i'm going to open this in a new tab now what we need to do next is to go into divi and then uh, theme options scroll all the way down until we get to custom css because this is where we're going to add our css code now in my case i have some css code already entered here so uh, in your case you might not have any but the important thing here is to make sure that the css code you're going to add needs to start on its own line so make sure that you don't go into these brackets that um, we have on the other css code okay so i'm going to paste my css code click on save changes and then i'm also going to come over here to integration and on the integration here it needs to go into the head uh, tag so I'm gonna just stretch this and again just like before make sure that you add this tag this JavaScript at the end of uh, the previous code if you have any in this section so I'm just gonna press command V to paste 
So I'm happy with that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and save changes. Now it's time to test our slider and see if it's working. So I'm just gonna hit refresh. Okay, so we can see now that our slider is now full width. It's taking that whole space of the screen. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we produce a video. We are going to be producing more videos similar to what you're seeing today. So until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.